Hi, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a narrated PowerPoint to a video. And I'm going to be using both versions of PowerPoint 2007 and 2010. I'm going to talk more about why I'm using both versions as I move through this tutorial. Also, you can see I'm using Windows 7, so I'm on a PC. I think the, uh, the Mac version is going to be pretty similar. But the real issue is why am I using both versions of PowerPoint? And let's move on to the next slide and I'll get into that. Okay, some of the, but first of all, some of the steps I want to cover in this tutorial are how to set the audio quality, and that's going to get into why I'm using both versions. Um, second bullet is uh, record how to record the, the voice over the, or do the narration. Third bullet, um, some of the video, how to set some of the video options that you'll want to consider. And then next is how to go through the conversion process. I'll go into detail about that. And then how to make the video. So let's begin. Okay, step one. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your audio is going to sound good. Um, in, version of, in the version of PowerPoints uh, 2007 and earlier, people had the ability to um, set the audio uh, quality within the application, and that was really good. Um, you could get uh, a CD quality or even better, but there was always a balance between um, getting the audio so where it was just really good enough and keeping the file size pretty small. So it was nice to have those sort of controls. In PowerPoint 2010, you don't have those controls any longer. You, it only gives you a default mono audio and it doesn't really sound good. Um, so if you start your PowerPoint in 2007, you can go into the slideshow tab in the top of the application in the ribbon. You'll see the slideshow tab and click record narration. Now this is going to open up the record narration dialog box where you can set these parameters that you're seeing, the PMC 22050 kilohertz, 16 bit stereo, 86 kilobytes per second. That's not CD quality. It's a little less than CD quality, but it's giving you a, a good audio recording as you're hearing my voice now. Um, and I'm keeping the file size small. Um, so that's my recommendation. You can make it a little higher if you need to um, or experiment with that as you wish, but that's just my recommendation. Um, you'll want to set the record levels at around 80%. And also in that record narration dialog box, you're going to see a little checkbox in the bottom left. That's link narration. That's kind of referring to if you want to save your audio as external audio files in addition to having them embedded in your PowerPoint. We don't need to do that with this tutorial, so you can leave that unchecked. So once you set your audio levels in PowerPoint, now you can save that PowerPoint, close it, and just get out of PowerPoint version 2007 completely. And we're going to move on to the next slide. Okay, step two, record the narration. Okay, so we have our audio um, specifications set. So now reopen that PowerPoint file in 2010 and go into the ribbon at the top of the application and click slideshow and you'll see the record slideshow um, function there and you and you can click uh, start recording from beginning meaning the beginning of your presentation and then another dialog box will open up as you're seeing in the graphic here now when you click that you're going to be actually recording the audio and you can look through the ribbon all you wish but you're not going to see anywhere where you can change the audio quality so it's, it's it's really missing from 2010 so that's why I'm using 2007 and then opening it back up in 2010 and it seems to work so that's my recommendation for doing this for now um, um, my tip at the bottom of the screen is when you are ready to advance to the next slide use this little graphic that you're seeing here the little record window to advance to the next slide um, what I mean by that is you'll talk about the first slide, for example, and then when you're finished talking, stop, wait for a second, and then click the, the uh, little blue right pointing arrow, and that'll take you to the next slide. 
begin talking again, talk about the next slide, and then move on in that fashion. Um, you can also um, pause your recording. And when you're done, you can click the X at the top right corner and stop the recording. So I'm gonna move on to the next slide in step three now. Okay, step three, um, options. Options are referring to um, how your video is going to display. So if you go back into, you're in 2010, and if you go up into the ribbon and look at slideshow, at the slideshow tab, um, you're gonna see play narration, use timing, show media controls. You're gonna probably wanna have all those things checked because it makes your video just look nicer. And I'm also recommending that you use an aspect ratio of 1024 by 768. It's gonna give you a, a nice size video. Now the user can resize that as they wish, but having it in that large size by default is kind of mirroring the effect of watching a presentation in a room with, a, with an overhead projector. Um, it's, given, it's going to give you a nice large font size and give you the details of those objects that may be in your PowerPoint. So that's just my recommendation for that. So moving along. Okay, step four, the conversion process. This is referring to, okay, PowerPoint 10 wants to um, prepare your PowerPoint so that you can make the video. So you need to go into the file tab in the ribbon then click Info, and then Convert. And once you do that, you're preparing your PowerPoint for rendering or for creating that video. It's going to embed and flatten and optimize fonts and other objects in your presentation so that it's prepared to make a video of your PowerPoint. Okay, so moving on to step five. Okay, and step five, make the video. Okay, now if you go into the ribbon again, click File, Save As, and then the only video option will be the Windows Media Video. Click that, save it onto your desktop or wherever you have your, your primary PowerPoint presentation saved in the folder on your computer somewhere. Um, okay, um, the note here is you can see the progress of, the, of, the, uh, of this uh, as it's rendering or processing this video. And a little green bar at the bottom of the application, you'll see a left to right um, progress window and as the little green bar moves to the right you can see that it's, it's actually doing what it needs to do to process the video and save it. So that can take minutes or hours depending on the length of the presentation or, or um, other factors might be the richness of the media and objects in the PowerPoint. So it can take a few minutes or several hours. If it's going to take several hours you might want to do this in the evening and then let it do its thing overnight and then when you come in in the morning you can review your video. So, moving on to the next slide. Okay, other video formats. What if you don't want a Windows Media video? You need maybe like a, a flash video or something more compatible with mobile devices. Um, I'm recommending an, a freeware application called WinFF. It's a free video converter at the URL that you're seeing on the screen. And um, if you don't know how to install that or use it, there are tutorials all over Google and YouTube showing folks how to install and use WinFF. But it's, I've used it many times and it works really well and it's free. So that's the end of this presentation and contact me at the Office of Distance Learning if you have any questions. Thank you.